so yesterday we were all uh, dumped with a lot of indices right so today i'll make it a more refreshing and more interesting to you see today i'll be showing you pictures right uh, for uh, the toxic uh, plants and their fruits and seeds so the recent trend in inset is image based question right yes particularly with respect to toxicology you will get a lot of uh, images with respect to plants right plants seeds etc right and in the last 2 to 3 years the image based plant plants based questions were in match the following question so not only one plant or two plants you have to choose between four or five and arrange or match the following correctly right so i'll be showing you all those toxic plants right so out of the plants so one group of plant is called toxalbumin right one group of plant is called toxalbumin so toxalbumins are nothing but uh, they contain a protein right protein albumin is protein nothing but protein uh, they can uh, precipitate agglutination right rbc agglutination just know it can bring about rbc agglutination right yes so we'll see one by one and second one is group of plants that are used for artificial brewing you take the plant uh, make a juice out of it and uh, place it on the body surface of body it will produce brewy uh, it is called artificial brewy right so we are not going into the details of those theory parts so i'll show you only photos see please remember this is the most repeated toxicology seed right most repeated toxicology seed see seeds of resinous communus castor castor bean right castor bean or castor seeds right so one important point to identify the seed is the seeds will be brown shiny right shiny brown you could see the shiny seeds brown shiny seeds with a variegated appearance right a pattern a criss cross pattern or a variegated pattern right so the pattern will be on the seeds shiny brown patterned seeds right it's called resinous seed or castor seed or castor bean right? another uh, photo in the same slide is the fruits fruits of resinous will be clumped clumped together right clumped together see this is an important point of differentiation between fruits of resinous and fruits of datura see datura fruit will be solitary single right whereas resinous will always be clump clumped together right resinous communus you can remember come come means lot come means meeting right communication is meeting so come means a lot of so resinous communus will be clump right clump of fruits right so remember dark brown shiny seed resinous seed right resinous seed so the seed is also called as a seed with having form of christ appearance form of christ appearance though the pattern on the surface of the seed is called a form of christ appearance right form of christ appearance we have one more seed yes so look at this slide look at this slide see the seed that you have just witnessed the resinous seed and this seed it is nothing but croton pigium seed they look alike they are exactly alike see even the textbooks would define croton pigium plant and croton pigium seed as they resemble exactly like resinous seeds except they are dull right except they are dull see resinous seeds shiny brown croton seeds are brown at the same time they are dull that dull so same pattern may be present in proton pigium same pattern as that of resinous may be present in proton pigium the only point of difference between resinous and croton seeds is croton seeds are dull right dull brown dull brown so resinous seeds shiny brown croton seeds dull brown right so never forget right never forget and next slide you would easily identify right you can easily identify one of the easiest image based question in forensic medicine the red seeds red black seeds right seeds of abrus picatorius right the red black seed right? is nothing but seeds of abrus picatorius so it is in the bigger picture you could see red black right red black abrus seeds right see another important point i would like to tell you is see abrus picatorius usually would be red with black right red with black Right, attractive. Right. Also remember, abrus picatorius could be pure white, pure white. It could be pure black. Right. It could be pure white, pure black, or it could be green, green with black. Right. Green with black. So 
the most common abrupt precatorious photo that you would uh, get in an mcq is this red and black right red and black so don't worry about it but less commonly less commonly less commonly abrupt precatorious could be pure white or pure black or rarely it could be green with black right green with black right yes one clinching point with respect to abrupt precatorious sales all seeds will look exactly of same size right abrupt seeds will be of same size right same size and weight yes next slide is the loss of toxalbumin right the loss of toxalbumin see toxalbumin i told you four right four toxalbumins so first toxalbumin is resin resin is communis second toxalbumin is croton from croton tegelium third toxalbumin we just know saw abrupt precatorious abrin and the fourth toxalbumin is jetropen from jetropa curcas right jetropa curcas plant see this jetropa curcas plant seeds are so easy to identify they are pure black lengthy seeds lengthy black seeds right lengthy black seeds right abrupt if it is in pure black form abrupt it be round or oval right and same size whereas jetropa elongated elongated black elongated black seeds right jetropa curcas right jetropa curcas so only four are the known plant toxalbumins in india only four known toxalbumins if there is a point with three or four keywords you have to be careful potential site for mcq right so resin croton jetropin abrin only four known plant toxalbumins in india right so the first plant is calotropis yes calotropis yes calotropis see whether it is calotropis procida or calotropis gigantea so don't worry about the names procida and gigantea differs only in shape of the flowers right shape of the flowers so there is no much difference between these two species so calotropis or madar m a d a r enough right so what is this calotropis used for calotropis together with plumbago or semicarpus anacardia right these three are more commonly used for producing artificial buoy or artificial contusion right so i told you all earlier so i'll repeat again take extract or juice from the plant rub it on the surface of the skin the skin will immediately turn red right red immediately the skin will turn red with the blisters around it right see so one point of difference between true bruy and artificial bruy is artificial bruy will have vesicles vesicles and lot of itching right lot of itching one other one another point of difference repeat mcq point of uh, difference between true bruy and artificial bruy so artificial bruy will have lot of vesicles and itching right another repeat mcq right so we'll get back to the picture calotropis picture or madar plant picture right calotropis right calotropis okay then we'll go to next slide yes please pay attention please pay attention you would not see this picture in any of the standard textbooks right because it is so rare to witness a bloomed plumbago right a bloomed plumbago see plumbago zelanica or plumbago indica or plumbago rosea so all three different species so don't worry about the species and all if you see the word plumbago or leadwort right leadwort leadwort l e a d w o r t leadwort right leadwort or leadwort so this plant you could see right you could see distinct distinct flowers right like the petals are distinctly uh, placed so don't worry plumbago photo is not present in standard textbooks so if a slender picture a hand drawn picture is given it has to be plumbago right it has to be plumbago so i'm giving a shortcut to identify plumbago plant right so then a third plant is semicarpus anacardia we'll go to the next slide semicarpus anacardia which is nothing but marking nut right so semicarpus anacardium or marking nut so those who have attended neat reason neat would have easily identify the seed right one of the questions in neat well recently conducted neat the question was the toxic principle present in this seed right uh, resorcinol and bilvanol right bilvanol see name of the marking nut tree the semicarpus anacardium is binomial name scientific name common name is marking nut right in uh, marathi or hindi we call it bilvanol bilvanol tree right bilvanol tree so the principle toxic principle is bilvanol right bilvanol 
right so marking that right semicarpus zonocardium or marking that so i repeat calotropus semicarpus zonocardium and plumbago these three are used for artificial buoy or artificial contusion right yes so never forget marking and one of the repeat question after resinus see resinus is the most common repeated seek with respect to mcb image based mcq next to most repeat is marking that right marking that yes so this plant you see like rays of the sun so in uh, younger days how do we draw a sun we'll make an arc and we make three distinct lines to draw a sun right exactly in that way the leaves right? the leaflets are arranged so the unique leaves of cannabis once you see this leaf structure you will never forget right so cannabis no cannabis see another repeat mcq is another repeat mcq is bong right bong what we uh, drink in lassi right lassi lassi they used to add bong right bong is nothing but preparation of cannabis right uh, preparation of cannabis so bong right drinkable in lassi the next one is charash charash is a black solid substance or extracted from uh, cannabis used for preparing uh, sweets right sweets or even charash is used for abuse right okay then what we smoke is ganja see please remember cannabis is plant's name cannabis indica right cannabis indica is indian cannabis indian variety of cannabis so cannabis is the plant's name so if cannabis preparation is added into any liquid like lassi or juice it is called bong right bong so image of a juice or a buttermilk will be present in the mcq right next is charash so charash is nothing but a black moss it is either used for smoking or used for making a sweet right okay then the third one the below mentioned photo you have the chilam right the chilam the uh, sadhus in up and all in himalayan ranges they used to have this uh, chilam used for smoking cannabis the smoking form of cannabis is called ganja right ganja right so what is the toxic principle present in cannabis tetrahydrocannabinols right cannabinols see cannabinols would be converted to delta 9 tetrahydrocannabinols right so thc cannabinols need to be converted to delta 9 tetrahydrocannabinols these delta 9 tetrahydrocannabinol is the functional or toxic principle in cannabis right okay so this conversion from cannabinol to delta 9 tetrahydrocannabinol needs either heating smoking right through so smoke we are heating it or needs gastric acid you have to eat so either you have to eat cannabis or you have to smoke cannabis see why i am stressing this point is we have a question on cocaine where a photo i'll show you the photo the photo will be on snorting right taking cocaine through nose so that is one point of differentiating between cannabis and cocaine so cannabis either we have to eat cannabis or we have to smoke cannabis right but a snorting is unique only to cocaine right i'll show you a photo don't worry so this is cannabis hallucinogen or delirium either way mostly mostly hallucinogen or delirium uh, depending upon the choice of them see so bong charash or ganja form right yes so next slide is datura right datura see datura is called a deadly night shade deadly night shade right deadly night shade thorn apple devil's trumpet right other names right? thorn apple devil's trumpet so i told you right while uh, explaining resinous communis i told you right how to differentiate resinous communis fruit because resinous communis fruit will be clumped you saw in the photo clumped more fruits uh, in the same stock right so clumped together whereas datura will be solitary solitary only one fruit right only one fruit and it will be pretty round it looks exactly like an apple green apple kashmiri green apple with thorns so that is why it is called thorn apple right thorn apple so solitary fruit with thorns in it thorn apple and the, the flowers will be white datura alba white it, it could be datura metal metal means black flower meta meta means what black right so datura alba is white datura metal is uh, white flower with black lines in it or black uh, stripes in it you can say or patch in it you can say 
or uh, there is one more uh, thing called the thura stramonium the thura stramonium is also white flower basically with pink stripes on it with a different shape only shape is different with respect to the thura stramonium so just know the name the thura alba is white flower the thura methyl black flower uh, white with black and the thura stramonium is same white with black or white with blue with a different shape so thing to remember is the thura blooms only in night you can always see see this is another another important point or important clue to detect what the answer is so you could see in the in the top corner the thura was filmed inside a room because it blooms only in the shade so if it is if it is the photo is taken in the open open the background will be night night background right night background so the thura deadly night shade right and the seeds of the thura are given uh, right next to it which is one of uh, uh, the common uh, differentiating uh, point between uh, chilli seed and the thura seed repeat and seed that we'll see in uh, upcoming uh, sessions we'll see so this is yes so this is poppy poppy capsule right poppy capsule poppy is nothing but opium right opium so this is natural opium natural opium so poppy papaver somnifera the seeds present there are called uh, poppy seeds in common words we say kasakasa seeds right kashkash seeds used in biryani and all right kashkash seeds see one important point to remember uh, with respect to image based questions the kashkash seeds or poppy seeds have no narcotic property i repeat no narcotic property there is no narcotic property in poppy seeds right yes so remember a poppy capsule will be uh, made small small linear cuts will be made to extract the juice of opium natural opium from that uh, we can uh, go for uh, morphine production right for uh, treatment purposes yes so we'll take uh, this slide to be the last slide of the session so this slide is an important slide an image based mcq in gipmar see this is called snorting snorting right snorting snorting is nothing but inhaling inhaling directly inhaling powdered form of a drug right powdered form of a drug so white powder cocaine white powder is cocaine right white powder is cocaine so cocaine is abused in this way right in this way right cocaine right cocaine so snorting the answer is snorting the image of this is given we we are asked to find out which way of abuse is this which way the way is called what right answer is snorting so please remember the plans we have gone through or we can make it a revision even in the next session so we'll stop here so tomorrow we'll continue from here and complete the rest of the plants and animals with respect to image based questions in toxicology right thank you best training peaceful environment pg medical entrance exam preparation were my expectations i got them at speed medical village in kanchipuram today i am a pg topper Speed Medical Village, a unique, eco-friendly campus dedicated for PG preparation. Speed Medical Institute, a complete solution for medical education.